Let's bring in former Army Green Beret, Captain Ben Collins. Thank you so much for joining us, Ben. I want to get your reaction to some of that regional criticism that we're hearing, because uh, we had the mission accomplished from the president, and now it's sort of the aftermath, the dust is settling, and now we're hearing some of these criticisms. What do you think about it? Uh, well, I think it's. I, th I think what we have to do first is take a step back and understand what is what was the mission and what is the mission, and and the answer to that is very different for the United States, for Russia, for Iran, and as we just heard from Connor, for Israel. Um, the, the gains that Iran has made inside Syria over the past two years have been significant. Like as same as Russia, correct? C correct, and and that presents a, an existential threat to Iran. So their strategic interests are, are much more pronounced certainly than ours. Um, you know, Russia, a landlocked country for its entirety, has always wanted that that access to the to the. But why the so? Because if it's if it's in their interest. We don't want that to be in their interest. Is that where we step in? Uh, well, we're, so where we're stepping in for that specific case was the use of chemical weapons. And, and that message wasn't just a message to the sponsors of, of Assad and, and the only reason why he's still in existence, Iran and, and Russia, but it was a message to the, the broader global community, state actors and non-state actors, that any use of a chemical weapon will not be tolerated. You know, the, the OPCW, 192 countries signed on to say, we will not tolerate the use of chemical weapons. You know, in, in the, but did in, we send that message on Friday? Because the critics are saying we didn't. Well, so what we, what we targeted was the, the, wep, the manufacturing and, and the storage facilities of, of chemical weapons. And sure, I'm sure that there, there is still, even if, there, if we did hit everything that was present 48 hours ago, of course Russia still has the ability to provide more. It was, it was targeting that use of the, the chemical weapons. We certainly could have gone after his air platforms. We could have gone after his rot rotary wing aircraft. We could have gone after his fixed wing aircraft. But then that would have slid us into what everybody's talking about. Now are we actually taking a strike that's getting us into more involved within the civil war? You know, the, the fact is that Iran and, and Russia uh, have much broader strategic interests in that region. Iran has their hegemonic advance that they want. They want to have a much more powerful uh, ability there. And since the Iran deal, they've got the ability to do that even more. Russia wants its access to the naval base. They want to be able to sell their stuff to Syria. But if we're going to go in, does it behoove us to go all in? Well, I, I, I don't think so. No, I don't think it really does. Um, I mean, look, we have about 2,000 soldiers that are right. there that are uh, a, a, uh, part of that, that uh, organization that's, that's with the Syrian Defense Force. Um, I think going in, if we are going to do that, you know, that's not a question that we have to, that we can answer right now. That's a broader question, I think, to the president's well, national security And in what team. capacity? Do we go in because of ISIS? Do we go in to help the rebels, more additional support that we have right now? Do we go in there because we want to take on the Russians? Why, why do we go in there? So the, the primary reason why we have been in there from the very beginning was to combat ISIS. Right. And we've done, a, we've done a tremendous job, and the soldiers have done a tremendous job in, in combating ISIS. And there, there's actually a, a somewhat decent, I mean, we can debate in terms of how much effort uh, Putin and Russia has put into it, but there is a mutual benefit and a mutual uh, interest to combat terrorism. Russia has a big problem with, with uh, their own Islamic fundamentalists. Um, so there, there is some symbiotic relationship that's there, but just because we can play well together between 9 and 10 a.m. on Monday doesn't mean that we're going to for the rest of the week. Um, and I think that Russia is going to be much more willing to push for those strategic interests um, unless that we determine or the president determines and his national security team, and for that matter, it goes to the Congress and the people of the United States yeah. to stand up and say, this is what we're willing to support. This is what we agree on, are our interests or, or, or not our interests. Um, I think to the broader uh, theme, I think anywhere that, that Russia uh, is a bad actor, I think we do okay. need to push back because so that overall, speaks to the core of it. You're pleased. Overall, you're pleased with Friday. I, I am. I mean, there's a part of me that wishes we had hit, uh, we had hit more. Um, but obviously, I don't, I'm not privy to all the information that the, the national yeah, security team does uh, or has. But, uh, but I think that it certainly sends a message to right. the rest of the community that we're not going to accept any use of chemical weapons. And those chemical right. weapons, you know, they call them the poor man's nukes for a reason. Right. Because every non-state actor and terrorist group we know would love to get their hands on it. All right. Ben Collins, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us. With Thanks, your insight. Liz. Thank you.